okay you guys so this is not going to be like a super ASMR video I call them not ASMR but I will talk softly with you as I tell you a story about my time at IKEA yesterday it's worth telling because the amount of mishaps was really up there <laughs> it's probably the only time I thought there's something I don't like about IKEA because usually I love everything about IKEA okay here's the thing I made a mistake I think that you have to actually start on the, the top floor and then go to the bottom floor and then you can check out okay there's like a whole it's like if you haven't been to IKEA before you have to actually go through the entire store to end up at the cash registers they're they're brilliant but you have to follow this maze it's like you actually follow it you can't actually check out unless you go through the maze there are a few moments of shortcuts that you could take but not really like you have to go through the whole store normal stores you just like walk in you can go wherever you want and then check out this is different zoop, zoop. okay that's it i wasn't really thinking about this one time when i went in this time and i don't know i've never really experienced this before i don't know how because i've been to so many ikeas I decided that I thought I totally forgot there's like something I needed from what's on the top floor and I actually forgot you could only find them on the top floor it was bath towels I have some family members coming to visit me in Egypt and I wanted to go to Ikea to get a few things okay for them to visit I needed some bath towels for them I didn't remember they're on the top floor so I decided you know I, d I had like okay I have some like injury on my leg I always have injuries I'm a dancer it's just it's a thing and so the other day I had gone on a date, yes, I went on a date, it was really nice, great. And I, I was going in this, we were walking, it's funny, this actually starts, the date actually started the series of domino effects. We went in a circle, unknowingly, when we were on our date, we took a walk after eating. And we were walking and we, we found ourselves at this, this one restaurant, at, like as a point of reference we're walking, it's next to the Nile, so beautiful. But we're right next to that restaurant and we decided to kind of go a certain direction we're trying to get back to where we parked but suddenly as we kept walking we found we like suddenly we're back at the same restaurant and we started laughing we're like oh no like we walked for like 30 minutes to try to get back to the car we did not make it we we ended up in a circle because we were talking okay so we're back same spot so we were like okay no problem let's try this again so we, we went again and we were very determined like keep going away from the Nile go away from the Nile I I don't know how it happened I don't know how it happened after another 30 minutes of walking we suddenly saw that restaurant in our sight and we st burst out laughing like how how did we do this again we were in like two circles okay long story short we were walking for a very long time and I was wearing like kind of boots with a bit of a heel and I already have an injury from dance in the back of my right uh, quad like on my hamstring kind of area so it was kind of pulling because we were walking quite fast and I felt it by the end okay so back to Ikea I decided I'm gonna walk really slowly through, through Ikea because it's kind of like bothering me but when I went to go get shoes to go to Ikea I wasn't thinking of this I wasn't thinking maybe don't wear the same boots that you wore because like it kind of you know they're a little up I should have worn flat shoes or something don't nope, totally forgot so I'm in the same boots <laughs> like a goof and I'm in like I'm like okay, okay I realized it when I got there why am I wearing these shoes why the Ikea I have to walk in circles again okay so I'm like I'm just gonna walk really slow grab my cart okay get in and I'm like you know what because of my leg I'm not going to go to this, the, the top floor. I'm just going to go where I need stuff on the bottom floor. Huh, I'm very smart. <laughs> nope. So I go and I start on the first floor. I go. And by the time I get to the like middle of the like full loop on the bottom, I realize, oh, I think the trash can that I needed was at the very beginning. And I don't know if I'm going to come across it again. So I went back for the trash can. Then I went back all the way to the end and I, and I don't know why I thought there would be an elevator that I could go to the top floor I guess that's never happened before where I, I didn't realize that There wasn't and I remembered I needed bath towels. It's like I came for two things specifically. Yes I got a few more. I came for two things one of them bath towels So I, I needed to go back. So I literally had to go all the way back around 
with my leg walking slowly and it was you know it was like a little annoying but I walked up and I asked the person at the end I'm like is there an elevator that I could just like anything like can I get back up to the top that I actually you're gonna want to walk and they started to describe I'm like so basically you're saying I need to go to the very start like, yeah that's how it works so I go all the way to the okay then I take the elevator to the next floor and I go all the way around and I find the bath towels and then I get to the end and I realize wait the only option now at the top floor when you get to the end is to take the elevator down to the bottom floor and then you have to circle the bottom again there's no way out I ask okay so I, I take the elevator down again I'm like is there there's a way there's a way to go to check out from here right there's got to be I can just go check out right they're like no no there's kind of a system you're gonna have to circle the whole thing I'm like aren't there like some of those shortcuts we have those in the US there's like some shortcuts no there's not there's not you have to go through the whole thing okay so again I'm going through the entire bottom floor to the end to check out okay I'm at the checkout I'm standing there literally I've put all of my items on the you know the little thing I put them all there suddenly the alarm in Ikea starts going on like super loud yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's like Arabic and English everyone's talking like in on the overhead in English and then in Arabic and then in English and then Arabic saying get out of the store and you know every time I've gone to this Ikea this has happened and no one ever moved or worried or anything so I just stood there I just thought well here we go again I don't know why this happens multiple times every time I'm at Ikea it's just a thing here okay so I just stood there no problem but then they actually this time started moving everyone out of the store they was moving everyone so I was like oh man I know nothing's wrong I know nothing's wrong but they're doing it so like all the cash registers like froze we couldn't do anything so I have to go out and just stand there and wait so I stand there wait finally like you know 15 minutes later there's like oh it's a false alarm I'm like it's always it's always a false alarm why would we think this wasn't <laughs> so we go we go back in and get back like literally I was checking out he had he had already rung up everything I just had to pay for it but the alarm went off <laughs> so I'm waiting another 15 minutes I get back in there and as I'm at the the cash register um there's two candles that I wanted to get that were on sale if you had the like family Ikea card you know so I ask, okay, can I get the like family Ikea card because I'd like to get these candles and that on discount with that to just sign up here with you. He's like, oh, actually, you just have to come over here and do this whole thing. Okay, so I like walk over with him, sign up for the Ikea card with these two guys that were laughing at me because my phone, okay, my phone number here. Let's just say, <laughs> I don't want to give my phone number. <laughs> I'll give part of my phone number. Literally, one, two, three, four, five is a part of my phone number in Egypt, okay? It's a much longer number. But every time someone says, what's your phone number? Um, th this is me. I look like a foreigner, and I'm like, I'm going to do it in English, but this is what it would sound like. One, two, three, four, five. It's, they all look at me like, you're just counting. You're just, you're just counting in Arabic. And I'm like... No, it's actually my my real phone number. Just just keep listening. It it, it does get more normal <laughs> every time. Every time they're laughing at me. I'm like, great. So now I'm going up to these two guys at the IKEA counter, and I'm, they're like, "What's your phone number?" Here we go. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> and I go, and li literally, they both burst out laughing. It's probably the best response I've gotten so far. I mean, people laugh. They always always laugh. But this was two guys younger. And they thought this was like you know thinking this is hilarious and i start laughing too so they laugh more anyway it's super inappropriate in egypt i shouldn't even be laughing with them but it's it's hard not to <laughs> so i'm just like okay yeah that's my number i get the card i go back to the cash register and no i'm gonna keep this kid crying and we're just kind of you know chatting here so this this uh manager kind of walks up because i had said um you know these candles I'm getting the, the family discount card to use that on the candles I'm buying. So the, the 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 person checking me out had taken me to get the card and back, right? Then we get back and he's like, um, actually they're not on sale. And I'm not I'm not I'm not exaggerating. They're literally right next to the the cash register. The, the right they're sitting there with two big signs that say these are on sale for this time. The, with the family card, okay? So I'm like, well, it's not, it's not like I have to take you somewhere to show you. It's, it's like right there. 
he wouldn't move from behind the counter to look. He kept reaching his head and like, oh, could you just walk around? It's right here. He didn't. I took a picture and showed him. And he's like, huh, that's strange. So then the manager brings the manager. He's like, you know, it says there's a discount, but it's not showing up here. The manager goes, oh, no, uh, yeah. He doesn't even look at me or say anything. He just walks past me and takes the signs away. <laughs> He just walks up, and I stopped him. I'm like, uh, so you're like, I, I put these here. I went to get the family card just to buy, only for these, just for these, and the signs there. And you just, you just like taking those, like, oh, it's over. I'm like, but here's the thing. I already passed the candles that say it. I'm paying for them. Got my card, and then you're now taking the sign off. <laughs> and he's like, he's kind of laughing at me because I'm, I'm at this point. I'm just laughing. I'm just like. Come on, Ikea. You're usually so great. What's happening? Literally looks at me. He's like, well, well, it's not anymore. Like, I'm taking it off. I'm like, but you see, I was here. Now you're taking it off. And he's laughing. So now I'm just laughing. Like, whatever. Okay. I'll just get one candle, not two. Okay. So do this. Leave, leave Ikea. You think that's the victory. No. I leave Ikea. I'm standing there. And I realize I have two more things to get. So I grabbed one of them. And that was a book. But friend, I got that book, okay? But it was really great because I didn't want to walk much. My my leg was bothering me at this point because I had to this whole thing. So I I find a, the closest bookstore. I, it was perfect because I found what I wanted there. Great, it was on the same floor. Oh, I'm I'm here's how did I forget this? I'm pushing a grocery cart. Like the IKEA cart, you know how it's like a grocery cart? I, it's, I had quite a few things because I had to get dishes, plates, for, because there's, there's, not, there's only one big plate in this apartment. It's, I rent this and the, uh, yeah, I, I, it came furnished. So I only have one big plate. I've never had to buy any plates because like, I only live here. And when my friends come, we just have the little plates. No big deal. But we have family members coming. I wanted to get them some plates. <laughs> so, but they were kind of, they were like heavy and I got some bowls and some, so it's like, they were heavy. I couldn't have walked through the rest of the mall with them, especially with my gimp leg. So I'm push Now, to give you some context, it's fairly normal for people to push their IKEA carts through the malls in, uh, in Egypt, okay? If there's a mall that has an IKEA, people do walk around with their carts. So it's not totally unprecedented. But I've got my cart. I, I always stand out. I look ridiculous anyway. And I so now I've got this cart and I'm walking... And I'm, I, you know, I can't go to the second floor because I realized there's only escalators for the most part, okay? The only elevator that I knew of was in Ikea. They have an elevator. But I had just purchased everything, so I felt kind of bad, like, going back in after buying the book to go back into Ikea to take the elevator to the second floor because I needed to go to the second floor for the last thing I needed. But I thought to myself, you know, I don't want them to think I'm like entering again. I already have Ikea bags and steal some stuff. So I, I thought, well, certainly there's another elevator. That's probably close. No problem. I decide to just move slowly around to see where I can find the next elevator. And it's all escalators, so I can't go up with the light cart, you know. It's, I'm, half, I'm halfway around the entire circle of the mall now. And I'm literally laughing at myself. I'm like... Are you trying to hurt your leg more? Are you, are you trying to hurt your leg more? Like, I'm going really slow. I've got the, the whole cart. <laughs> and so anyway, I'm halfway through and I find like an information desk and I'm like, hey, you know, is there like another elevator here? Is there, there one close by? And he's like, yes, here, you, what are you going to do? He points to the elevator. He's like, you see this building? It has a queue on it out this window. You're going to walk through and it's like, the mall's kind of like in a circle, and in the middle is like an outdoor area um, with like restaurants and things like this. And anyway, he was saying, just cut across here. I'm like, okay, good, there's a way to cut across. And he's describing it, and he's like, so that's where the elevator is. And I was like, are you perhaps describing the IKEA elevator? And he's like, yep, yeah, that's it. And I was like, cool. So that's where I started. Is there one maybe closer? And he's like, no, no, there isn't. <laughs> and I was like, cool, cool. Okay, so I go outside and I realize that you know again I have a cart you're not supposed to have it like really on the outside probably it's like a bit of a cobblestone situation so I'm like going <laughs> like this and I realized you can't actually cut across because there's like 
park stuff in the middle like grass and hills and benches and you actually can't just take a cart across that so I had to go around this like kind of more cobblestone type area that's on the outside of that circle to get back back to Ikea that's where I was I didn't even need to move but I so <laughs> I'm like do, 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 the whole way around the thing <laughs> and then I get back to Ikea and I realize that if I, my leg is like super sore at this point, I'm like, I literally needed, okay, the thing I needed was there's a grocery store in this mall and it's the only store that I can find black beans in. Like it has to be like a big, big grocery store at like a mall to find these. And I love Mexican food and I, I cannot find them anywhere else. So that's what I really wanted to get. Like I wanted to stock up on a bunch of them. But I realised by the time I circled the entire mall again, my legs too sore, I would have had to take the elevator up and then move to the store and it just was going to be too much. So I didn't even get the thing that I was going for. I, was, I just said, no, I'm going to have to wait on the black beans. And that was the end of my IKEA trip. So, so you know, I mean, I got a lot of great stuff and I'll do a haul for you, but it it didn't go um, as planned. <laughs> the amount of circles I've done in the last three days is it's a lot. Okay, so thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye, you guys.